I'm Staff Sergeant Ryan Franks with the United States Army Service Pistols team, and today we're going to be talking about two of the four fundamentals about bullseye shooting, stance and grip. When talking about stance, we want to focus on natural point of aim. We want to be perpendicular to the target for two reasons. It aids in recoil recovery and not fighting our position to stay on target. We'll start with our feet shoulder width apart, slightly offset. This aids in good balance and keeps us from swaying. You want to be relaxed going up the body. You want to take your non-firing hand and stow it either in your pocket, on your belt, something out of the way. As I bring my firing arm up into position, I'll close my eyes and look down my arm, trying to be as relaxed as possible in this position. When I open my eyes, I want to be on target with my sights. If I'm not, then I can make either a, a major adjustment with my feet by turning my body or a micro adjustment just to bring myself slightly on target. And that's by rotating on my heel and pointing my toes whichever way I need to go. From here, I want to check my position by bringing my arm down, relaxing, getting back into position with my eyes closed, opening my eyes and seeing where I'm at on target. You want to reassess your natural point of aim throughout your shooting because your body tends to elongate, relax, or contract depending on how you're shooting. From here, we'll move into grip. We establish our grip by taking the pistol with our non-firing hand and working our firing hand high and tight into that grip. We want to build it around our trigger finger so that we don't manipulate the gun or the sights while we're moving the trigger. I want equal pressure with these three fingers and a Coke can grip around the gun. I don't need a fist because I will, I will manipulate the gun too much with my fingers. I want my thumb relaxed and my trigger finger independent, not incorporated in my grip. From here, we're gonna test our grip by bringing the pistol up and moving the trigger back and forth, making sure that how we squeeze the trigger does not disturb our sights. These two fundamentals of bullseye shooting can be primarily trained in dry fire, which will give you the muscle memory needed to maximize your time behind the gun at the range. 